Hey, what's up? It's Poison here, and welcome back to Driving Site, where I bring you updates and tips on road safety awareness every week, just like this one. And in this video, I'm just going to show you how to use the MSPSL routine when you're approaching to uh, turn left or right at a, a junction. So that means going from a major road into a minor road. If you're watching this video, you probably have just done your moving off and stopping, or just simply preparing to do some junctions. Um, stay uh, till the end and uh, I hope you get something uh, out of this video. This is an automatic car. Whether you're learning in a manual or an automatic car, uh, you will have to use the MSPSL routine. The only advantage you have over a manual driver is that you don't have to change gear in an automatic car. So let's go into the video. a junction on the left we're on the major road so obviously uh, we need to start following the MSPSL routine so the first thing we need to do is check our middle mirror and the left hand mirror and then indicate left indicate left in a good time so you're not misleading anyone about six to eight cars and then slow down your position needs to be in a normal driving position so which is about a meter away and just as you get to the corner as the corner disappears from your windscreen you start to turn left okay um, the speed you want to use depending on how tight or how wide the junction is okay uh, if it's a tight one go very slowly if it's a wide one you could probably go about 10 to 12 miles per hour uh, at the beginning all right once you've gone into the new road always check your middle and the right hand mirror just to make sure that nobody is overtaking you okay before you speed up again okay so we're approaching another left turn so basically check your middle and the left hand mirror indicate left and slow down your position is normal driving position look ahead for any oncoming vehicle look onto the road that you're going into to make sure there is no pedestrian and your way is not blocked it's a very tight junction this is so i'm just going to take it very slowly and then as soon as i go into the new road you always check your mirror middle mirror and the right hand mirror just to make sure that nobody is overtaking you okay Right, so I've got another left turn coming up here. I'm just going to go into the second one and I'll pass this road before I signal. So check the middle mirror, left mirror, signal left and then uh, position. I'm in a good position now. Just slowly approach this junction. Look ahead and uh, look to the left. It looks clear for me. So basically this is a wide one so I can go a little bit quicker this time and just start to turn as the curb disappears. And once you have again gone into the new road, just check your middle mirror, right hand mirror, just to make sure no one's overtaking. At the moment, I can see somebody has decided to overtake me. That's quite normal, so I expect these things to happen. So that's why you should always check your uh, mirrors before you start speeding up. Right, so I'm just gonna take another left turn. We're approaching, and it's gonna be the second one, not the first one. So check your middle mirror, left hand mirror, signal left in good time, just as I go past that junction. Position here is in the middle of the road because it's quite a narrow road and just approach slowly. This is again another very tight junction. Look ahead, look to the left. It looks okay for now. There's nobody um, crossing or anything like that. So just as you get to the corner, start to steer. And then once you've gone into the new road, uh, straighten up your wheels. Again, remember what happened in the last junction. Just check your mirror, middle mirror, right hand mirror before you start speeding up again. Okay, always keep your wheels. Okay, so this time I'm going to make a right turn now, approaching a junction to turn right. I'm going to take the second road on the right. I'm just passing the first one now. So I check the middle mirror, right hand mirror. The position for right hand turn, uh, I'll signal right. And the position for the right hand turn is just keep to the left of the center of the road. So when you see a white line, just keep left of that white line. Because when we're turning right, we have to give way to the oncoming traffic. Now, as you can see, it's very clear. So I can just make the uh, turn. Make sure you're not cutting the corner. Uh, and overshooting so the best way to judge that is if you follow the um, the white line uh, on the center of the side road and use that now uh, I'll stop and show you when I can so let me just go around I'll just go around this van okay so we're approaching to turn right I'm just gonna check the middle mirror and the right hand mirror signal right as you can see there's a vehicle coming or it's not coming towards us so if it's safe to do so I'll just stop here at the moment there's no one behind me uh, as you can see uh, the white line on the side road is actually just level or it just shows that it's underneath my mirror that's a good position to come to a stop okay and then you can just start to steer to the right and your car will just go into your side of the road there we go check your middle and the right hand mirror before you pick up your speed again 
Okay, so one more time, we're gonna turn right. I'm gonna take the second road on the right. So I check my middle mirror, right hand mirror, signal right in good time. And then just start to slow down. Get your position just to the center of the road, but keep left of the center. And uh, why are we doing that? Because in case if it's a wide road and you have to come to a stop, and other people can just pass you, okay? And come forward and meet the white line. One of the uh, decision that you have to make is when you're crossing front of the oncoming uh, vehicle, uh, I would say use walking uh, rule. This is something that you have already got uh, as a pedestrian. So if you was standing there, just imagine uh, if you can walk across, then it will be safe to drive across. Okay. I'm going to take the second road on the right again. So what I have to do is check the interior mirror, check the right hand mirror. I'm just gonna go past this first road and then signal right, so I'm not misleading anyone. Uh, position just center of the uh, road here, just left of the center. Slow down, because there's a van coming, so I can't go front of this van. I need to slow down and stop for this white van. I can't walk front of this van, so there's no way I'm gonna go. And then now I can just make the turn because I can see the white line, there we go and straighten up your vehicle and uh, you know because this is a narrow road i'm going to stay in the middle of the road just check your interior mirror and your right hand mirror before you speed up again thank you for watching i hope you got some value out of this video if you did please do like and share and consider subscribing and please comment down below which car are you learning to drive are you learning in a manual or automatic car uh, do let me know in the comment section below until next time use the road safely bye for now